Welcome back to The Heat. We're talking about the raging conflict in Iraq where the militant group ISIS is battling for control of the country. Joining me now from London is Loué Al-Khatib. He is a visiting fellow at the Brookings Doha Institute. He's also a senior advisor to the Iraqi parliament. Mr. Al-Khatib, thanks for joining us. We, Thank you. We hear that there is fierce fighting going on uh, in the Iraqi city of Bakuba, ISIS forces are about 50 miles away from Baghdad. What is your assessment of what is happening in the country right now? Uh, well, what, is, what, what we are witnessing right now is um, an, a new Iraq is in the making uh, in a rapidly changing Middle East. And uh, the, um, the war on terror or the war on militants is, uh, is basically developing by the day. Uh, Iraq now is um, uh, fighting single-handed uh, uh, a war on terror, uh, um, and uh, it needs all, kind, all sorts of support uh, from the international community. And of course, there, is, there are a number of reasons that push this escalation to grow. And uh, it is unfair just to say uh, um, and to sum up the whole uh, uh, insurgency as it's in um, ISIS. I think ISIS is, uh, although they are part of the conflict, uh, but uh, they uh, basically have, have, been, have been used as a, a camouflage also to all sorts of uh, uh, groups, including uh, Qaeda, uh, um, uh, former Ba'ath regime uh, groups, uh, and uh, militants um, um, groups from uh, all over the place. And the security spillover uh, that uh, uh, encouraged that uh, insurgency to grow uh, across the border between Sunni and, uh, and uh, Iraq, it's basically uh, uh, raising the alarm uh, significantly. And uh, therefore, the international community should involve uh, um, an indirect uh, um, combat with those groups. Having said that, political uh, uh, solutions need to be put on the table. All the uh, countries and in, 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 in all the uh, adversaries, basically, in the regions need to sit on the table and negotiate peace. Uh, the United States uh, could contribute significantly into this by bringing right. uh, maybe uh, uh, Turkey, uh, uh, Iran, uh, Saudi Arabia, and Iraq uh, to discuss this. Uh, at the moment, ISIS tactics is creating as many uh, uh, front lines as possible uh, to cut uh, the uh, basically uh, the connections between the various cities right, and okay. to destabilize the country. Right. In fact, ISIS has opened three fronts right now in its assault on uh, the Iraqi forces. Uh, you say there should be more international help uh, coming to Iraq. Are you advocating that foreign troops return to Iraq? Uh, no, uh, we are, the the era of uh, boots on the ground is uh, is 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 way behind us. Uh, I don't think uh, Iraq can need for uh, any uh, troops on the ground, uh, foreign troops on the ground. What Iraq needs is, is is support in terms of like intelligence support, in terms of like pressure on on uh, uh, um, states and uh, uh, to basically uh, dry out the funding to these groups. Uh, um, one need to uh, remember that over 50 percent of all these militants are uh, of foreigner origins. Yes, they use uh, local, uh, local insurgencies, uh, uh, but they use them mostly for logistics. Uh, the leadership is very much, and, uh, and the execution of the plan is, is, is at the hand of the uh, foreign fighters, as we've witnessed over the past uh, few days. Okay, President Obama has placed much of the blame for what is going on in Iraq. Uh, on uh, President Nuri al-Maliki, saying that uh, Maliki has not reached out to his political foes, to the Sunnis in the country, and that's what's led to this conflict taking place. Well, put it this way, there are a lot of mistakes uh, being committed over the past uh, years, and this is uh, part of the nature of the transition uh, of Iraq. I mean, uh, 10 years in, in regime change uh, uh, transition phase, it's, it's, it's short uh, compared to uh, what the world have witnessed in the past in, in, in various transitions. Uh, having said that, inclusive governments need to be in place. Uh, political reconciliation need to be uh, 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 put on the table and, uh, and with timelines. Um, and it's not kind of like just promises. 
and uh, indeed uh, Prime Minister Nur al-Maliki need to reach out to uh, uh, all the uh, uh, right, okay. uh, all his rivals basically yeah can you see that realistically happen because President uh, Nuri al-Maliki right now is not reaching out to the Sunnis he's not reaching out to his political foes in fact what he's doing is he's talking to his commanders his military commanders his Shiite forces and taking the battle uh, to the Sunnis well, uh, put it this way, uh, an election is behind us now, and the National Alliance, the, the totality of the groups of the National Alliance, uh, will have the final say in naming uh, the, 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 the future uh, Prime Minister. Uh, now, whether it is uh, Nur al-Maliki or someone else, uh, this, need to be, uh, this process needs to be expedited, and we need to have a, a, a more of a accountable and, and a national uh, unity government in place. At the moment, the current administration is, is, is a caretaker uh, in terms of like uh, just uh, in transition uh, between the, the, the previous administration and, and, and the coming one. And, uh, and basically, we really need to, a long term uh, plans and tactics to, okay. to handle the situation on the ground. Right, you talk about long term plans, long term tactics. Uh, you said at the outset of the interview that we are witnessing a new Iraq, a new Middle East. Can you explain that, please? Because, I mean, is. Iraq going to remain a single entity, one single country, all its territorial integrity intact? Uh, well, what we are witnessing now, it's uh, quite a dramatic change, especially after the, uh, uh, the dynamics that took place in Mosul. Uh, the uh, Kurdistan uh, Peshmerga um, uh, advanced their uh, troops uh, to take over Kirkuk a disputed province and in terms of and in, uh, in fact uh, they took over many territories uh, were not in the, in the list uh, uh, that they had in terms of like disputed borders uh, the, uh, the the map uh, of Iraq is showing a de facto uh, a three state uh, in terms of like uh, um, control uh, this uh, this fact need to be taken into consideration I don't think uh, Kurdistan, uh, the KRG, will retreat from whatever they uh, took um, um, now. Uh, and uh, new facts uh, are on the ground and need to be negotiated. Okay. Uh, the, uh, now, are we talking a, 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 a de facto three-state solution? Are we talking a confederation, as Mr. Uh, President Barzani um, have highlighted uh, six weeks ago? Uh, and uh, all these things need to be taken into consideration. Also, uh, most importantly, uh, a fatwa uh, um, uh, of the fatwa of uh, Ayatollah Sistani uh, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, something new. Uh, the, this is the first uh, fatwa uh, a, in the form of declaration of jihad right. uh, in a in hundred years. Okay, I uh, need to raise. One more issue with you and the impact that this conflict is having on the Iraqi economy. Iraq, of course, is a major oil producer, and we're already hearing that the price of oil is going back. We also know that ISIS forces have taken control of one of the major pipelines that come, uh, comes out of Mosul, and that the uh, biggest Iraqi oil refinery uh, in Baiji has been shut down. But well, uh, market's reaction to these prices is very much based on uh, trader, the speculators, uh, the, the, the speculation of traders. Uh, in fact, uh, oil, oil production centers in the south are safe, uh, far from the fault lines. All the uh, export terminals are safe. Uh, they are mainly uh, Basra based. Uh, as for uh, Kirkuk, it's been like offline for some time because of the sabotage of the pipeline. Uh, uh, and uh, yes, the refinery is being kind of like uh, under siege, uh, but uh, still in the hand of the government, uh, to my knowledge. Uh, okay. And uh, but when we when we're talking about uh, productions and export, these are intact uh, and uh, and far from uh, any threats. Louis Al Khatib, thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you.